What is up, FIFA commenters? Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for deciding to watch another video on the channel. If you're new on the drop a like, subscribe to the channel. Before we go ahead and do these objective players review, we are going to crack open a card that is supposed to be the cheap, a cheap goat. Okay, a cheap goat. And he is really, really good. He goes by the name of Sorla. Sorla, Sorla, that you can see right on the side there. Very, very good card. Very good card. 12, 12k on the market, so nothing too expensive. Now, moving on to what EA Sports has released in Foundation. Specifically, the Eredivisie, we get ourselves a lot, a lot of good cards. Let's start, first of all, we're not going to do a, a sort of a career review. We're not going to do that. I'm going to tell you exactly what you need to do to ultimately get yourself a, 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 a wish dad. So the first thing is you need to win 10 matches in either semi-pro or rivals with at least seven Eredivisie player, Eredivis player, and you will get yourself a cheeky Richelieu Bazaar. Okay, next, you need to play 20 games in a semi-pro or uh, rivals with at least seven LODVZ players. You need to score 10 goals uh, with a player in, of the LODV that has minimum four-star weak foot. And finally, you need to assist seven goals with through balls uh, with an LODVZ player. And you will get yourself a cheeky Gertruda, six foot one, a beast himself. And ultimately, that will grant you this guy, Owen Wichdal. Um, who has a very, very good card. Very, very decent card. Listen, honestly, three-star scale, two-star weak foot, high, high. That's very, very good. He wouldn't play on the midfield. He would have to stay as a left back for me. The high, high is good for a box, a box. But because of that uh, three-star skill, two-star weak foot, he, he never should go in the midfield. Uh, the dribbling is really, really good. The, the pace is in insane. He cannot shoot. Again, he cannot be in the midfield. He can't even... I wouldn't even suggest sending him uh, too high up. So definitely don't pretend shooting with this card. He's not the sort of... Uh, 352 uh left mid that you can use who will go up and go down no this guy cannot shoot but he's very very strong very decently uh strong uh very good stamina very good defending acumen as well moving on to the Gertrude card this card is interesting he's a right back who uh to be honest uh, he's six foot one medium medium that, that's us that's us a right back who's medium medium uh you rather just stay back while attacking right you don't want to see this guy go forward because he's, he's going to take him a decade to turn. Uh, Two-star skills, three-star weak foot, not good. Uh, the pace, uh, decent pace. He cannot shoot, obviously. Decent passing, decent dribbling, okay? But again, we have so many right backs that could do so much better. Uh, the defending is also very decent as well. Six foot one, very good heading accuracy, very good jumping as well. The stamina is there and all that. Player trace speed, dribbler, they can go by. This is a, a decent card, but honestly, there's so, so many right backs that do so much better at this stage of FIFA. Finally, like I was saying, Bazaar. Bazaar, who uh, honestly is the, pretty much the best out of all of these cards, right? He's six foot, medium, medium, uh, three star scale, three, uh, four star weak foot. This guy is going to be helpful. Either stay, stay forward or stay back while attacking uh, because of the fact that he's very agile to start with. He starts very, very agile. Let me go to Footbin, actually. Let's look at this together on Footbin instead of me talking just over here. But look at that. With, uh, you know, with the Marksman, Architect, Anchor, he, he, he gets the lengthy Accelerate. Um, and like I was saying earlier, he already has very, very decent dribbling. Very, very decent dribbling. You can go ahead and max out the pace. You could put a, a shadow on this guy, right? You could put a shadow on this guy and he becomes a beast. Stay back while attacking. Play him as a CDM in a 2CDM formation. That is going to look lovely, right? Um, but probably my, my favorite out of all of the cards that are available in terms of the EuroDV uh, 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 object foundation there. But there is this guy that we have to talk about as well. He goes by the name of Pedro Marquis. Pedro Marquis. Now, how do you get yourself a Pedro Marquis? It's very simple. Assist using a through ball, using an LDV player, and uh, four separate matches, managerial masterpiece in this in this, uh, in this this uh, specific uh, uh, objective here. Um, and then you have score a finesse goal using an LDV player in four separate matches. You have to assist 10 goals with LDV players. You have to score using LDV players, and you have to win eight matches in total in manager masterpiece while having... Uh, 11 players that are from the LGV in your starting squad. So just ha go ahead and max out your your your, your squad with LGVZ players and you should be A-OK. -okay. This card is the best card for sure. Looking at these cards, who I would place in terms of order, priority, I would say Pedro Marquis is my preferred card that was released today. Then you get your uh, Bazaar, uh, who can, who's really, really good. He looks really good. Then Wijdal and then uh, Gertruda. But coming back to Pedro Marquis, look at this dribbling. Look at the shooting on this card. Look at the, pa the pace on this card. Look at the 99 heading accuracy combined with the 85 jumping. Definitely the best card that's been released. The 85 stamina, 86 uh, strength as well. Very good strength for somebody who is going to play as a cam. 
sorry, who's going to play as a striker. Very, very good. He doesn't get any player traits. But boys, this was your FIFA commenter giving a big W to this overall uh, foundation Earl DV. I like it. Nothing too crazy uh, for uh, two of these cards, but two of them are decent. Boys, don't forget to drop a like on this video, subscribe to the channel, and of course, you let me know if you enjoyed FIFA. Peace out!